Hello everyone. Today we're going to do face reading on both Israel Adesanya and John Jones. You're not only going to learn a lot about their personalities, but also about yourself, uh, deep psychology, philosophy, and even physical and mental health. Uh, this has been used in um, this has been used for diagnosis in traditional medicine as well as examining personalities. And in my experience, this technique has been incredibly accurate. Uh, keep in mind that facial features change, but we can see what the personality type and even possible health concerns were at the times uh, that these pictures were taken. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first, I really um, want to talk about the eyes. So on this top one, that's uh, Israel Adesanya, and that bottom is John Jones. So uh, I wish I had a laser pointer where I could uh, show you, but if you can look where um, you can see kind of by the nose, the eyes come to a point where it's very sharp. And what that means is uh, Ezra Adesanya is very sharp with words. And then also kind of the slant the eyes have. So at the outer corner, if that's slanted down, that can be uh, more pessimistic and more um, uh, more judging, more critical towards other people. Where, where here we see kind of more straight across, so that'd be uh, less judgmental. And even uh, in John Jones, it seems more straight across. But in in other pictures of of uh, both these individuals, the eyes do change with the slant and uh, also a lot of um, other features too. And the second thing I want to to point out, if you look on the eye below for John Jones, if you see that inner corner, you see it kind of comes down like a hook. And what that means is he uses words to hurt. So someone with eyes like this, if if they're hurt by someone, then they'll use their words to hurt that other person back. Versus another person might be... Um, um, say, a lot less confrontational with their words or a lot less uh, hurtful with their words. And and we're talking about that eye slant, the uh, outer corner slanting down. There are pictures, the more recent pictures of John Jones, where the eyes are slanting down. And I think a, actually a big reason for that is actually his uh, history of uh, cocaine um, use. Because uh, cocaine is a drug that makes, it can make people feel like they're, um, it can make them feel like they're superior and that they're above other people and above even doing certain things. Where they have um, a delusion of, of a lot more self-importance than what they actually have. You know, and that's not trying to say, you know, John Jones is a bad person or anything, but, you know, he's obviously done some very questionable things under the influence of drugs before. But that slant, that's being more critical, and it's more looking down on people. And both of these people, um, both uh, Israel and John, if you look at the size of the iris, what that's supposed to mean is... Both of these individuals need to express their emotions. And then also, we can see, it's hard to see their their eyelids. So if we see the skin kind of coming over their eyes like blinders, that can be that they are very stubborn in arguments. So if they get into an argument, they are going to be very, um, very determined to win that argument. So if you see someone with... It's hard to see their eyelids. Uh, definitely best not to not to get in arguments with them. So here, here's a picture of Israel that I really wanted to talk about because we were just talking about the eyes, but at first, it can really look like he's looking down on you, just just at first glance of this picture. But he's really not. So we see the eyes are slanted just straight across. Oh, excuse me. So 
it's more like he's not being optimistic and he's not being overly critical towards towards people that he's seeing. It's kind of more like I'm not judging you. You know, I'm not um I'm not judging you good or bad until I see what your actions are. Is kind of what this picture looks like to me because we don't see him being overly um, pessimistic or optimistic in his judgments uh, towards other people. But you see straight across, it's kind of more like, uh, I'll wait and see before I judge you. And talking about um, uh, eyes changing, this is a really good example that I wanted to point out. This is uh, Tyson Fury. And if you look, you cannot see his eyelids. But if we look in the next picture, we can see his eyelids very clearly. And this is this is very common for athletes. This is very common for athletes to not be able to see their eyelids where they're very can be very stubborn. But in the case of Tyson Fury, what I really love that what it shows about his personality and even in his interviews is he can accept criticism. So people can, you know, criticize him, disagree with him. And this, this is very important for an athlete to be able to overcome because if you're not willing to take uh, criticism and, um, you know, if you're just wanting to argue with everyone, especially when you're getting more information on how you can improve yourself, it's very easy to get stuck and especially uh, Tyson Fury he's changed a lot and he's really made some major improvements in his um, in his life and uh, in his, both um, in his personal life and his professional life but that is a, a really good trait to have and uh, one more thing I'd like to really point out in this picture I wish I had uh, the laser pointer function where I could really point this out, but if you look on the tip of his nose and you can see uh, uh, this cracker, that line right in the tip, what that's showing is he's used um, a lot of his extra energy on other people and he's been using his energy to help other people too much. And I know this... Uh, Video is on um, Israel Adesanya and John Jones, but the reason I want to point that out is because uh, Israel Adesanya has had that has had that type of nose before, where he has that point, or sorry, or that line in the in the middle of the point, which um, it's supposed to be a symbol of heart blood, but it's kind of like you've been. Um, it's kind of like you, you've you been devoting yourself to other people too much and you've been giving too much of your energy away and not taking care of yourself as much as you should. Okay, and getting into eyebrows. So, and again, on the top we have Israel Desanya, and on the bottom we have John Jones. So, the first thing I'd like to look at is we have the slant. So we have the slant of the eyebrow going up. So what that is showing is a decisiveness. So it's kind of like if they say they're going to do something, they are going to do it. And another thing, you see the eyebrows are also kind of low on both of them. This means um, they can be ex um, easy. It's easier for them to be friendly and also touchy feely. Like for example, Someone with uh, high eyebrows, they will be more um, more discriminating against who they let get close to them. You know, like we say, like someone's kind of highbrow, and then that per that type of person would also be uh, less touchy feely. Versus, we have uh, Adesanya and Jones right here. Their eyebrows are low, so they'll probably use touch to get to know someone, whether it be handshake, a hug, or uh, or whatever. And for uh, also for what they have in common is what you call the father's blessing. The eyebrows are uh, far apart or you see a good space uh, above the nose where there's no hair. 
So that symbolizes the father's blessing. So what that means is that they've had a good relationship with a father figure, whether it was their, their dad or it was someone who was a good role model to them. And what that can symbolize and how they conduct themselves, um, you know, presently is someone with that symbol would be more patient and more strategic in kind of seeing like, okay, now is my, um, now is my time or now is my opportunity or they can also be more patient for their opportunity versus some people, let's say they haven't had a good relationship with, um, you know, with a father figure or role model and they're in a lot, um, a lot more of a hurry to, to have whatever accomplishments that they're trying to get, whether it's a promotion or whatever. And, uh, eyebrows in, in traditional Chinese medicine symbolize the gallbladder or the strength of the gallbladder. So we can see, um, for Israel Adesanya, his eyebrows aren't, they're really not that long. So it makes sense because um, Israel Adesanya, he's admitted to being very petty before and that he can really uh, hold on to, um, to grudges and resentments. And that's supposed to be um, one of the factors for someone who has a gallbladder deficiency. Uh, other marks of gallbladder deficiencies would be that they may have had issues um, digesting fats. Maybe has, maybe hasn't. Um, you know, not everyone who's had, you know, very short eyebrows like uh, Israel Adesanya had, had uh, digestive issues like that. But in my experience, seeing people with eyebrows like that, it seems like they have uh, really held on to, um, to grudges and uh, past resentments. And getting into the nose. So, and on the left we have John Jones, and on the right uh, Israel Adesanya. And we can see a little bit on Adesanya, where we can see a little bit of um, that line across the tip of the nose, where there used to be that line showing, you know, say he was giving more of himself up to, or giving more of his energy to other people than he needed to. So, um, and then also on, on Asana's, we see the nose is turned up. So what that means is less skeptical and it can also mean a very good determination. And I've put a uh, possible blood stagnation on this just because, just because we've seen, um, uh, some dark, uh, some areas of darkness on here, but I'll have to look into that more, but but we can get into that later. Then um, on John Jones, we have his nose is turned more downwards at the bottom. So like say it's, for example, it's less, um, it's, it's less easy to see his nostrils. So that means uh, more skeptical because the nose is turned down. But both of them, they have uh, wide nostrils. And what that symbolizes is that they want to do things their way versus say someone with uh, thin nostrils, um, however you tell them to do something, they're going to try to do it exactly the way you tell them to do it. But for both of these individuals, whatever you tell them to do, especially if you're a coach, they're going to want to do it their way and they're going to look for a better way to do it. And training people like that can be, it can be uh, frustrating, but if you really know how to how to deal with people like that, it's, it's really good actually, because they are very creative. You know, it can be a little frustrating because, you know, no matter what you show them, they're going to want to find a, a better way to do it. But, you know, you could show them, you know, um, you know, the, the structure of it and they can be very creative and find some really amazing ways to be creative with it. And then also, we have a little bit of a of a curve uh, to their nose where say, you know, more like sometimes they call it like a ski jump curve. 
And so this is showing that, um, you know, if someone else is sick, they can be very hospitable. They can be good at taking care of them, uh, especially uh, Israel, because he really has that curve. Uh, John Jones, not as much, but it looks like he kind of has it. So I would expect both of these people to be very good at focusing on individuals versus uh, like, let's say, if, like, for example, let's say that um, someone in their family got sick. It looks like they would be very good at taking care of that person. And versus if, uh, let's say, they had more of like a Roman nose, then even if they're trying to take care of that person, they're probably thinking of a million other things at the same time, and it makes it hard, harder for them to focus on that one individual at that time. And then uh, the reason I put uh, eating habits may have changed and need to adjust is because we see on the bridge of the nose at the kind of at the top, we see like a little lines forming. And what that can mean is that can be a warning sign that you need um, to uh, adjust your nutrition to get more energy from your food. Okay, and moving into cheekbones. So... On, on cheekbones, they, they they can mean bossy. But the what I wanted to focus on this is that so high cheekbones and more pronounced that can be um, like show that you're adventurous. And then also, so the side of the cheekbone that's supposed to be your your bark, and then the front of the cheekbone is supposed to be your bite. So it looks like um, Israel Asana, you know, he's very sharp with his words. He has a strong bark and a strong bite. Um, John Jones, we see that more on the front. So maybe he doesn't have as strong of a bark, but he has a very strong bite. Okay. And this is one of the last slides we're going to look at. So on the chin and the jawline. So... The chin can really show determination, and both of these individuals have very strong chins. They both have very good, strong determination. And in my experience, what I have seen is people with um, you know, very straight jaw lines, they can be or uh, kind of think like more hard or soft. So some people have very soft edges on their jawline. Other people have, it's very, very straight, very hard. So what I've seen with this um, this is more my theory, but I've seen it, I've seen it be very accurate before, but, but people with very sharp jaw lines like that can be very blunt with their words and they can be, be hurtful with their words. Um, not really meaning to be hurtful, but they can definitely be hurtful with their words, uh, without meaning to be versus someone say with a softer jaw line. They'll be, you know, a lot more uh, softer with their words and a lot more careful. Okay, and moving to the ears. So, the top is Israel Adesanya and the bottom is John Jones. The issue with trying to read uh, John Jones' ear is because it's been very swollen from all of um, uh, all of the years of wrestling that he's done. But we can see uh, with both of them, so you can actually really tell a lot by the ears, but what we're looking at right now is their risk, their willingness to take risks. And you can see how wide the ear is at the top. That's how big of a risk uh, the person is willing to take uh, financially. And in the middle is how big of a risk they are willing to take physically. So both of these individuals are willing to take risks both physically and um, and monetarily. And we can see um, um, on that the uh, mid helix kind of really sticking out on um, Israel Adesanya. If that how far that sticks out, that really shows that they are a very hard worker. And we can, we can kind of see it on John Jones, but it's just his ear has been, um, uh, has had so much swelling on it that it's uh, really, just really hard to make out a lot, a lot on it. But 
uh, both of the both of these individuals are obviously very hard workers. Okay, and on the mouth, so we can really see. Uh, so the top one is Israel Adesanya, and the bottom is John Jones, and we can see um, with that a uh, strong um, uh, crack down the middle of the bottom lip. That's a good indication of sense of humor. So it looks like we can see it, you know, on both of them, but especially, really especially on uh, Israel Adesanya. And then, and then we see it on uh, both of the both of these individuals too, but especially on Israel Adesanya, is we see the top lip. Uh, if you can see the middle indentation, so that's called uh, the Cupid's bow, where you kind of see the top lip kind of make uh, a bow. Um, um, a bow outline. So what that means is you love giving presents to show your love. And then on um, uh, John Jones, I put possible blood deficiency because the lips are looking very pale. So that we may have blood deficiency from there versus, you know, if um, lips are very dark or very purple, you can um, start to see uh, blood stagnation. And that we see that little um, on both lips, uh, especially uh, Israel Desanya's on the top, just because he doesn't have a mustache that, to cover it up. But we can see kind of a white outline on that top lip, and what that means is kind of um, this person has been discouraged to exp express themselves um, in the past. So the top lip can really signify. Um, how expressive you are and the bottom lip can really um, show how generous you are and if the top lip is um, thicker than the bottom lip that can kind of show um, a tendency to be a drama queen a little bit but we see on both of these people on both of these individuals that they are very expressive uh, they are very um, they can be very generous and then uh, another mark that you can be a drama seeker is that the middle lip, if you see a little bit of um, ex extra flesh just right down the middle like we see in John Jones' upper lip in that bottom picture. So just quick, because um, yeah, I'm not trying to be insulting towards either of these individuals because... Um, yeah, they both obviously have some very good qualities, both very expressive, and both can be very generous. But um, something to keep in mind with, it seems that people who are very generous, it seems like they can also be uh, less patient to get what they want to, because, I mean, they're very, they're very giving towards other people. And then it's kind of, and then for some reason in, in a face reading, what I've seen is that that thick bottom lip, even though it can show generous, it can also show an impatience to get what you want. And that's pretty much it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.